Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial. Today it's on CCTV cameras. So, as the name would suggest, this plugin allows you to have CCTV cameras where you can look into them and see what people are doing depending on where you place them. And it has another feature there are also computers which allows you to view the cameras um, as well as using a command, and you can send people emails and whatnot. So, this is a relatively new plugin, and hopefully, it gets updated with more features. Um, in the future. So let's go ahead and do forward slash camera to start off with and what we need to do is choose a place. So let's go ahead and go on top of this tree here and we're going to look down at this little platform. We're going to do camera create and then the name's going to be camera 2. There we go. So once we've done that we can actually look through it using one of the commands. So we're going to stand down here and do forward slash camera look and then it's camera 2. Hit enter and in a few seconds it will connect, it will say live, and there we go. We can actually um, look at the platform, see what people are doing here, as a CCTV operator would be able to do. If you hit third person, you can see the camera up here. Um, it's just a black box with a lens, um, as expected, with some wires at the back. Um, so that's really cool. If you want to exit the camera, it's very simple. You hit left shift and it will say disconnected um, and that will disappear in a few seconds. So it's very, very cool the way that works. We can also do forward slash camera remove if we want to get rid of a camera. And as you see, camera one over there got deleted. Now, if we do forward slash camera player, um, we can give a player a particular camera if we want to. Um, so give and then LTGM camera one. But obviously that camera has been deleted. So let's go ahead and look at the second um, part of the plugin, to so the computer. To make a computer, you need a nether stair block. Here it is. Uh, so you just pop it down anywhere, really. And what you need to do is right click and you will need to set a password. I've already set one, I've set it as 123, one of the weakest passwords ever. And once you've done that, it will unlock your monitor and you can right click again. Now in your computer, it will open up. You will have your head down here and you have some programs, so we have the cameras here that we can add on, we have email and a terminal. So let's go to mail and look in our inbox and as you can see there is one message here. So it says hello uh, from my other account, how are you is the message. Um, so let's go back to mail and we can clear our inbox, that will delete it. And then we can go to new and create a new one by doing um, entering someone's name, so lcgym007, enter the subject, this is going to subject test, and then enter the message, the message is just hi, like so. And that will send um, an email, and there we go. So if you force slash computer, you can see that you can um, do various things here. So once we put our computer down, another uh, brick stair, you need to do force slash camera, uh, or computer, I should say, create, and then we're gonna call it um, our name. So that is the difference between the computer and camera. You need to name it with your own username. So once you've done that, you can um, set the password. So let's set it as one, two, three. There we go. So we can open the computer like that. Now the final bit is the four slash computer camera um, command. And this will allow you to view the cameras via your computer. So computer camera like this and then you can just simply add and remove cameras uh, like that. But obviously, uh, I've deleted camera one, um, so I cannot add it anymore. But that's how that works. You would just go in here into the camera section and um, that will allow you to look through all of your different cameras that you've placed. So that is the plugin. There isn't too much in the config files. You can change some of the languages. I know some of it isn't in English, as you might see. Hopefully the developer sorts that out. But other than that, it's a really awesome plugin. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.